So Leonardo AI just became my main image generator of choice and for good reason. The latest update has introduced some incredible features that in my opinion, really cement Leonardo AI as the best image generator out at the moment. Its new Phoenix feature is perfect for creating stunning text and design logos. The character consistency feature ensures that characters maintain a consistent look across multiple generations. And the ultra realistic images Leonardo generates are truly impressive. In this video, I'm gonna do a deep dive on all of the main features, and I'm gonna give it a run for its money by comparing it with Mid Journey. With that being said, let's get into it. So here we are at the homepage of Leonardo AI. And just before we continue, guys, I really just want to say shout out to Leonardo. This interface, literally, they have done a really good job. I mean, just these seven tabs at the top here, very clean and very simple to figure out. Great job. So the first feature I want to show you is actually the newest feature that they've released. Let's click on image generation. Now on the left here, you're going to see preset. If we click into that, you're going to see this option here, Leonardo Phoenix. If you've ever tried generating text on an image generator, you'll know it makes up that really gibberish language. Well, this is where Leonardo Phoenix stands above the rest. And let me show you guys what I mean. What you're seeing right now was a prompt that I entered in using this preset. And you can see there, it's doing a great job in writing the text. It's very clear. Um, there's no typos. This is supposed to say epic quest. Okay, it did mess up there. But this one, as you can see, it's not having any issues with text typos. Even at the top here, lush epic quality text. Most image generators would struggle to even literally write one word. So this is where I found the image generator does a great job in generating text. Here's another one, even this one as well. Look how great that looks, Creative Minds. This is actually my favorite one, Summer Festival, okay? And this looks like a banner that they would use for like a music festival. Like, look how beautiful that looks. I mean, look how close we are. Like this could pass off being created by like a professional, honestly. Now text is great, but we want to see a text and image combo. Check out these examples that I worked on. I mean, look at that. This is the same prompt as before. I just said add an image to it as well. Look at that, like Epic Quest. It looks like some sort of game. Even this one, like the characters there, text is perfect. This one's nice as well, Future City, and there's just cars flying. It's just a city in the background. Uh, this is very nice. Here's another one, Lost World. You got a guy down here in some ruins. Look how great, like most of these, I would say 95% of the time, there's no typos, which is actually incredible. And look at this one here, Enchanted Forest. I mean, tell me that doesn't look like the front of a book cover, like that is beautiful. And this is my favorite one, Carnival Fun. I mean, just look how nice that one is, literally. Like Now I entered the same prompts to Mid Journey and I wanna show you guys the comparison. So this is Epic Quest, as you can see, same idea, but text completely wrong. Um, you know, I mean, the image is okay, but yeah, like for me now, the image is kind of useless if the text is not correct. So um, this is the first example. Yep, here's another example. Like it's, yeah, I mean, the text just is just not, as soon as Mid Journey, uh, when, the, when you ask for text, it just doesn't do a good job. Same thing, Creative Workshop, just, yeah, look, not good. Like it was close, Crevity. <laughs> so this is the summer festival as well. Like, look, I think it did great there with the colors and the image, but yeah, I mean, summer is not even spelled correctly in the background. Now there's also another feature which is called edit with AI, okay? Check this one out. Okay? So let's go to that enchanted forest prompt that we entered before and let's click over here. And you can see here, edit with AI. And here's where you can literally just add information here to change the actual image itself. So let's type something in and see what result we get. I'm just going to write add a fairy and let's just see how good it does. So here it is guys, enchanted forest and there's a fairy on the right there. And I mean, it's not like a bad, it's, it's actually a 10 out of 10 fairy as well. So there you go guys, this is just, it just goes to show this feature and even that edit option is very, very good. Very impressed here, Leonardo. Oh, and you know that epic quest one from before? I also tried the same thing. I clicked edit with AI and I wrote, make it rain and look at that. I mean, seriously, th this is incredible. This is one of the best AI image generation features to date. Like the accuracy, just with the text and the changes. 
This is amazing. So what is this feature good for? Book covers, movie posters, marketing material, uh, event promotions, uh, website banners, YouTube thumbnails. I use it for that as, as well. Uh, the list just goes on, honestly. This is, I'm very impressed, uh, Leonardo. Great job with this feature. Now let's talk about the character consistency feature, which can be used for a number of things. The first use case is generating AI portraits. Check out this video if you wanna watch the tutorial. I'll do a quick example of my face and we'll try to generate an AI portrait that looks like me. Now we wanna go over here and change the preset, okay? So this is the one that you wanna use, okay? Portrait, perfect. For the preset style, I'm just gonna click portrait cinematic. Now, if we just go here where it says enter the prompt, I can just click click here and we go character reference and it's going to give me a bunch of photos that I have used in the past. Let's just go with this photo on the left here. Okay. And let's click confirm. And now we can enter whatever prompt we want. All right. The first examples are done. A man eating a watermelon. And yeah, look, I mean, these are the results I, for some reason. And I'm, I'm just going to say this. Okay. Look, I mean, yeah, I mean, and you're probably thinking what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's, my God, I'm ugly. Look, I'm going to say this. It could be better. Obviously, I would like it to be better. However, that is definitely my hairline. That's definitely my beard. And you know what? Like, that's my nose. And here's another example. Obviously, yeah, it's, I mean, it, that's my eyebrows. That's my beard. Um, yeah, that's my hairline. And yeah, there's me as a firefighter as well. Okay, so now I'm going to enter the same prompts and I'm going to use the same image in mid journey. And I want to show you guys the comparison. Okay, here, here's the first result of me eating a watermelon. I mean, take a look at that literally. Um, I need I say more like, you know, this is um, this is this is the other one. Uh, a businessman walking down Wall Street dressed sharply. Yeah. Sure, this is me in at my worst. And I mean, yeah, here's the last one, a firefighter. Um, yeah, just terrible. Didn't do it, just did a terrible job. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, look, I mean, everyone gets different results. But for me, mid journey, it doesn't like me. For me, for some reason, I get better results from Leonardo, okay? And they're not perfect, but it's better than mid journey in my experience but let me know in the comment section below if that if you guys had a similar experience now you can also use the consistent character feature for different reasons you can also use it for generating random characters for novels uh, or videos uh, maybe you want to create an ai influencer as well i'm going to show you guys now some results so here's the first character that i created like i mean this is great and like literally you can just save this Look at all four of them. Look how look how great these characters are. You can use these for just about anything. I mean, th this came out really nice. Uh, and then this is the ultra realistic one. You could you could say this is for the uh, AI influencer. I mean, it, it's just as easy as saving those, uploading it to this section, and then just using the character reference, and then just continue on from there. So that's another great feature as well. The consistent character is definitely better than other image generators. Moving on, let's explore how Leonardo AI generates the ultra realistic images. Okay, so I've done five separate prompts. The first one is a sort of like a close up selfie of this guy with curly hair. And look, I'll be honest, I mean, especially the first two. Yeah, that one, you can even see hair on his chin, like a little bit of stubble there as well. Wow. And then even this one, this is just, yeah, this is just really, I mean, wow. That's even the, like the, wow, the individual hair follicles, very good. The next one's nature. Maybe I shouldn't have picked this one, but it's probably the best one. You can sort of see the water ripples. Um, you got the dirt and the sun in the background. Yeah, not bad. Here's the third one. It's sort of like New York uh, and it's a bustling street. Not bad, honestly. I, I, this is I'm I'm actually quite impressed with this. All right, here's the next one, which is salmon. I mean, wow. Okay, this is breathtaking. Wow, this I mean, if this is how good it looks now, like imagine what the next variation is going to be. This is my favorite one, probably. I mean, look at that. You can't zoom in anymore, but look at just the. I mean, I'm assuming that's oil, and then the last one's sort of just like a city. Uh, or like a nice building with some water. Yeah, not bad. Not the, the best one. Now let's provide the equivalent prompt into mid journey and let's compare the results. Yeah, this is the first one. Um, uh, yeah. 
I mean, Leonardo wins on that one, to be quite honest. Yeah, here's the second one, which is the nature in the water. Yeah, I mean, it's not necessarily looking very realistic. Yeah, not really impressed with that one. Uh, this one either. You, you could say maybe it's the prompt that I provided. Maybe the, the salmon is probably one where it could get away. But yeah, I mean, I'll be honest. I think Leonardo is still better. And here's the last one, which is the city. I mean, you guys can make up your mind yourselves. You, honestly, for me, I think Leonardo does better when it comes to realistic images. Um, especially realistic images of portraits, like of, of humans. Like I think it does very well there. And the other thing as well is I got to select multiple different uh, preset styles where Mid Journey doesn't really have that as an option. So that's one thing I definitely like about Leonardo. Now let's test the image upscaler, which is essentially the option to upscale the quality of the image. Now I used to use Magnific AI as my main upscaler, but then it became too expensive. So I moved to another product, which to my, honestly, I am very impressed with this product. It's Crea AI, you guys have probably heard of it before, but I use this when I'm generating images. I use the enhancer in this. So let's compare results. What I'm going to first do is upscale the image using Leonardo AI, see what the results are, and then we'll do the same thing. We'll upscale it in Crea and we'll compare which one's better. So let's click here where it says Alchemy Upscaler. Use this to refine and upscale images. So let's click on this. The higher the strength, the more the refiner will adjust the image to attempt to improve it while upscaling. If you're already quite happy with the base, okay, use mo okay, lower medium. Okay, let's leave it for low for now. And let's just click upscale. And for the time being, let's download this. Let's go to Crea. You just click on this. Also, I'll be honest, Crea AI is another um, AI tool that I just literally, I love the interface. The interface is so good. I mean, literally, I'm already in the section that I need to be. I've uploaded the image. Here we are. And when you go over here on the right hand side, it's literally the prompt. It's already done. A, it's already analyzed the image. The image shows a plate of food with salmon, broccoli, carrots, and sauce. Uh, and you can just choose the um, resolution. I'm just going to do the 3500 to 3500 and let's click uh, enhance. Okay, so the upscale has finished in Leonardo. Um, look, to be quite honest, um, I mean, this is the upscaled version and this is the original image. Uh, <laughs> look, to me, to be honest, it actually looked like it got worse. Maybe it was just the image that we generated originally, was, which was pretty high quality. But I'll be honest, the original image looks actually better. Yeah, I probably would. Like, I mean, look. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Look, maybe it was just that example. But Leonardo, the, the first example, I would say uh, I'm not happy with the result. I'm going to click this option, which is Alchemy Crisp upscale for images with lots of texture detail let's click this and see what result we get all right this is the original okay i'm going to click the crisp let's see if we can see a difference yeah you know what yeah i can see it there is definitely a slight upgrade you can just see in this section over here like have a look it's kind of blurry original image upscaled yeah, it's a little bit better. So it actually did good there. All right, now this is Crea AI and I've got this like tool to go left and right. And there you get like, there you go. I mean, need I say any more? I mean, yeah, Crea AI, like, I mean, this is, they, I mean, this is one of their main things. Their main things is upscaling images. But yeah, this, it just beat Leonardo just then. Um, but obviously you'd have to pay separately for a subscription for this. Uh, whereas Leonardo, I mean, if you already have the subscription, is the upscaled image option good enough? Yeah, I honestly think it could be. Yeah, 100%. Last but not least, we have the image to video option, which essentially creates any image that was generated from Leonardo and turns it into a video. All right, let's go with this image of like me looking like I'm 50 years old. Let's click image to motion. Um, and it gives us the option to add how much strength. Let's just go five and let's just click generate. Um, great. Uh, let's pick a few more images as well and see how they go. I mean, yeah, like I've look, I've spoken about uh, Leonardo's image to motion generator in the past. Like there's not really any options. You just sort of have to decide how much motion strength you want. And then it just sort of has a mind of its own. But yeah, I mean, the hands all mongulated. Yeah, I, I think we get the point. This one here, um, 
Look, yeah, the camera's panning left to right. Yeah, not really any movement. So yeah, I'm not really happy with this one. This one's kind of good. The bus is moving, but then it sort of morphs into some sort of truck van. Uh, the people aren't really moving either. So yeah, not really happy with this one. And then here's the one of the selfie, which, you know what? Uh, uh, it's okay. It, he could, if I generated a few more of these, maybe he'll blink or he'll do something as well. So yeah, I mean, it's not really, it's sort of doing a nice pan. I like that. It's a nice little effect. So let's compare when we put the same images into, if, look, honest, my honest opinion, this is potentially the best image to video generator out at the moment like I, I, that might be controversial because of runway gen 3 but do not sleep on this go check this out i've done a video about this as well go check that out but if you haven't tested luma dream machine guys you're missing out it's probably the best i mean before i compare this is like some of the images that i have generate i have created these in leonardo and i've put them in luma like i mean look at this like just the camera the panning um, I'll show you guys another one. I mean, here's one that I created the other day. It's sort of like a road and it's like a tornado, but it's like a sort of like a vortex. Like, I don't know. It's cool. I, I think it's awesome. All right, so let's compare. This is me eating the watermelon. It pants to the right. Who the hell is that? <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, it's just some random person. I don't know. I, I mean, look, yeah, look, it's... That, this isn't perfect either, but it's definitely better than Leonardo's one. And then we got the portrait of the guy. Oh my God, he full turned around and then he started walking. Wow. I mean, I mean, wow, honestly, that's just the way that it did that is just, it came out so perfect. So this one's a bit different. We're zooming into the deer, but look at the water. I mean, beautiful. And if, if that, maybe if that deer moved slightly, I reckon if I did a few more generations of this one, it would actually come out really good. So yep, this one's even better than Leonardo. And here's the one of the city with the bus. It sort of pans upwards. Uh, and the bus sort of uh, doesn't morph as much. So it's not perfect yet, but I mean, look at the people walking. Yeah, I would prefer this one over Leonardo. So yeah, so that's it for the video, guys. I really just wanted to showcase my favorite features with Leonardo. I think they're doing a great job. Right now, I am going to say it. I think they are be beating Mid Journey at the moment. Um, do I think Mid Journey will come back with version seven uh, for their uh, image generator? Yeah, maybe, but for right now, I think Leonardo definitely beats them. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.